Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Unbox with Marty. Thank you for tuning in. Check this out. I just got my hands on this, well, it's kind of old. It's a uh, Dell Latitude E6420 series laptop. Uh, as is, this thing is running a one terabyte hard disk drive. And yeah, I put in uh, Linux Zorin 17.2 Pro. Uh, what I want to do now is I'm going to swap out that hard disk drive for a... Uh, solid state drive and just see if I can add a little more bite to this thing. So swapping out the hard disk drive with a solid state drive with this device is a pretty simple project. All we're going to do is we're going to flip it over. Uh, what we're going to do with the, uh, all the steps are is we're going to go ahead and remove this battery. There are these two clips here. We'll slide them aside and we'll pull the battery out. Uh, here I'll show this to you see if you can see it a little bit better. But right here, you can see this is the bracket. This is where the uh, hard disk drive is stored inside of the uh, device. Uh, there's going to be a single screw on this bracket attaching itself to the hard disk drive. Uh, again, making it easy to slide in and out. What we'll also need to do is there are four screws. One, two, three, four. We'll have to remove those screws. Uh, then pull the hard disk drive out. We'll swap out the hard disk drive for a solid state drive and reattach the bracket, slide it in, then we will re-screw the four screws and we should be good to go. So let's get started. Okay, here we go, we're gonna remove the battery first. So let's pop it out, lift up, there you go. And we'll put that to the side over here. Next, we're going to remove these four screws. So let's just go ahead and get that started. This is number two. Number three. Number four. Okay, so we're gonna put our fingernail around this lip on the bracket and slide out. There you go, pretty easy, isn't it? We slide it out. You can see right here, I don't know if you can see that right there, but you can see there's a screw. That's a single screw that's gonna attach this bracket to the uh, drive. Over here, there's gonna be just a little uh, peg that's gonna you know, sit inside the other screw hole just to give it some hold. So we'll go ahead and let's uh, remove that screw. Here's the screw, we'll set it aside. We'll set the hard drive aside, but we're gonna keep this. All right, this is the bracket. So let's take a look. Uh, let's see, we're gonna pop this in, line it up. Oh, gotta put it this way, had it the wrong way around. Doesn't hurt to keep an eye on that. Got it connected, good. So again, this side goes in first. Slide it in carefully. There you go, fits right in. Okay, let's just take a quick break. I wanted to show you this just to get you a closer look here. So of course, here's your solid state drive. What I want you to see here is right here, of course. You can see right there is the hole where the screw will go in. So you're gonna be mounting it in on this side. But just keep in mind that on this side, you've got this little tab here that's going to go and fit into this hole of the uh, solid state drive or the SSD. So place it on carefully. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and screw it in. We'll start off here and go in the same order. So we'll just. Place the screws back in. It's going to be number three.
And here's number four. There you go. In nice and tight. Well, you don't have to make it that tight. Remember, you're not, uh, these aren't lug nuts. You're not holding a, your tires on your car. So, like, nah, you don't have to tighten it down that much. You don't want to strip it. There you go. We we'll flip it around, and your project's complete. Okay, let's have a little fun. First, let's see how long it takes to boot up with the hard disk drive, and then afterwards, Let's see how long it takes to boot up with the solid state drive. Okay, so we've completed that project. We've installed a uh, solid state drive, 128 gigabyte solid state drive. It's not too big, but again, you know, uh, as you can see, I installed Linux, uh, Linux Zorn. I installed Linux Zorn 17.2 Pro. So it's not, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of hard drive space. So I'm pretty comfortable with 128 gigabyte solid state drive for that. Uh, as you can see, it did improve its performance. Uh, if you're interested on how to take it, that extra step where you need to install your operating system. I did a, uh, a video a while back uh, where I uh, went through all the steps to uh, create your boot thumb drive for Zorin and booted to it and I ran it from the thumb drive. Uh, it's a very similar process. It's just that the difference is when you load up the uh, desktop through the thumb drive, you will get an option to install it to the hard drive and that's where you can make that decision. Anyway, I did enjoy making this video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you have any thoughts or comments, please, I, I enjoy your comments. Uh, I love those Linux comments. You guys really get involved and you really uh, are very passionate about your Linux operating system. So I, I do enjoy your comments and your suggestions and uh, your questions. So please, again, be sure to leave your thoughts and comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and the videos on this channel, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.